the reason I'm doing this as a voiceover is because not only am I in quarantine but when this happened I tried and failed to vlog it in my commute. It obviously wasn't easy because this was a fresh wound. The guy meant a lot to me. So yeah. I don't mean to offend anyone. I'm just sharing not to hear your input but to clarify why I say this has influenced whether I date people that are into bikes or not. This guy discovered I was a biker like the second time we met so like he was really surprised and I guess that changed how he like who he thought I was but despite that I don't think he, he fully understood that motorcycles are a huge part of my life now because I had known him before but like that's before we started dating like any other caring boyfriend of course he was worried protective of me but in a very good masculine way like you know wanting me to get home safe and I grew more closer to him because I liked that uh, protective nurturing energy about him okay fast forward like how things went from zero to hundred I had planned a ride like with a friend of mine I told my ex about it um, in the middle of our ride you know like we, we just want to like grab some coffee so I told my friend to pick a place okay he's like all right so I follow him and <laughs> I don't know by some witchcraft or something we end up in my ex neighborhood not too close to where he lives but like around his area okay but it's not a big deal it's cool we go like, we sit down you know we have um, a little catch-up session just before we leave I'm like yo let me check on this man and tell him I'm not far from his place you know so <laughs> to my surprise he's like yeah yeah i know i saw you guys <laughs> so i go well, he's like you don't believe me your little friend he's riding a red bike as well <laughs> yeah what <laughs> so like i start laughing obviously but like he's he's like uh, a bit upset I don't care at that time why are you upset because there was nothing wrong I did obviously um, it was just literally innocent people having a cup of coffee having a ride catching up there was nothing to it so when I finally like get to see my ex he tells me how like it's the last time um, I'm riding with other men but it, like he says it not in a jealous type of way not in a like a I'm gonna get mine romantic type of way like we're not gonna have to ride with other guys it's always gonna be us together no he, he says it like in a very offensive type of way this is me personally um I don't like it when I say like I love something so much and you talk down on it you make me feel bad for the lifestyle I chose you know he sort of like made me feel like listen this is not normal this is not it <laughs> so i delicately tell him my love for biking it's my joy it's my mental support so i'm gonna need you to make peace with it i'm never obviously gonna put biking above you i just need you to understand that just as much as you have your own hobbies I have my own hobbies and I want you to like respect that. So we end the little debate there. Every now and then like he continues to manufacture these mini scenarios about people that died on bikes and like he just doesn't stop the negativity around it basically. It was it was draining. My family, my friends, like they really liked him and he would bribe me with like 
these gifts and so so I was still invested a friend of mine like tells me hey there's this um, rally going on blah 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 why don't you pull for me okay uh, here's a nice opportunity for me to like invite my ex and maybe he might just understand so we decide to go and I'm not riding to a rally like for the first time just to put you into perspective we are in Joburg right and the rally is about like an hour 30 minutes from here from the first toll gate here's this motorcycle club passing me I'm just sitting in the car like wow <laughs> I really am not riding to this rally but I try not to show up. Anyway, we get there, people are excited, you know, like just good vibes and beautiful bikes. I see all the people like having fun in the, those little challenges that you normally have in those competitions that they run and I'm like wow and I start to see other girls on their bikes oh my god wow I really did not ride here wow. <laughs> so okay anyways we go to the pop-up um, shops you know where they're selling like bike stuff so I, I see more of my friends and we say hi and people I don't know they also come up and like Shami, blah 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 and it's really nice like I'm uh, making new friends you know so later on in the night this one guy comes up to me and says hey aren't you so and so I say I am nice to meet you and the guy tells me what bike he rides and so on so my ex is standing there and he's getting more and more mad like throughout the night so just before midnight as we're about to like drive back i'm like babe did you have a good night and he's like i'm just trying to understand why it was it that all these men were giving you all that attention <laughs> i said to him are you aware that i keep posting stuff about bikes and people with bikes they want to know my face you know he's like i understand but as a man that makes me feel uncomfortable what do you mean as a man that makes you feel uncomfortable he's like i don't know if i can be with somebody who's always getting attention like that as a man you should be confident about who's out with you if I can get this kind of attention, I have other options, but I'm choosing to spend my time with you. You see all these strange men going up to your lady and you're just chilling there. You're not checking if I'm comfortable. I have to answer to strangers why I haven't, where's my bike, blah blah blah. I don't know these people just as much as he doesn't know these people. Really. Um, I'm attracted to a man that is secure in his manhood, a man that is secure in his power to be my man, that's what I'm attracted to. So that day was our last 